Hello, friends, and welcome back to My Mama's Kitchen. I have a really special surprise for you today. I wanted to share some books with you from another country. These books are from a country called Vietnam. We live in the United States of America, and these books are from a country called Vietnam. My stepmom went to visit my cousin there for his wedding a few years ago, and she bought me these books. He lives in Vietnam, and him and his wife teach English at a school there. His wife is from Vietnam, and he is from the United States, and he picked out these books for us. I thought you might enjoy them. Today we're going to have one long video this week so you can we can read all of these wonderful books together. This is a story about a little rabbit named Ralph and he solves a big problem but he makes one bad choice that we're going to talk about. Ralph was a bunny who loved soccer more than anything else in the whole wide world. He could play all day long and he never wanted to stop. Ralph, come inside, his mother called. You have to get dressed for your sister's birthday party. Rat, said Ralph. He, that was the last thing he wanted to do. Look how dirty you are, scolded his mother. Quickly go upstairs and change. Our guests will be here any minute. Ralph saw that his mother was putting the candles on a birthday cake for his sister Lisa. She had also bought a coffee cake. Ralph wondered how it tasted. Ralph was still angry at having, uh, at having to leave his soccer game. This party this party would be more fun if it could be a if we could just play soccer instead of singing silly songs. He um he grumbled. We probably will play silly musical chairs or pin the silly tail on the silly donkey. Ralph took his time getting ready. He was the last one to join the party. He was very grumpy. Oh, this, way, this page is a little hard to read through the camera. Let's see. After every... After everyone sang happy birthday, Ralph's mother was ready to cut the cake. Ralph said, I want a piece of coffee cake. No, you can't have coffee cake, said his mother. It's for the grown-ups. The birthday cake is for the children. But I want I don't want birthday cake. I want coffee cake, Ralph said, and he stomped his feet. That was not very nice. It was his sister's party. They were trying to celebrate her birthday. Ralph was so angry he could not control himself. He said something awful and horrible. If I can't have it, then nobody can, he said, and he spat on the cake. That did it. Now Ralph was in bad, bad trouble. Ralph couldn't... I'm sorry, guys. This book is a little hard to read through the camera. Ralph, how could you? His mother gasped up to the up to the attic this instant. I'll deal with you later. Ralph's cheeks were burning. He was stomping up the attic stairs, but he really didn't mind. The attic was the workshop where the bunny rabbits decorated Easter eggs. It was a nice big room, just perfect for working on his fancy footwork. Suddenly, Ralph heard horrifying screams from outside. From the distance came a terrifying chant. Uh-oh. Let's see what's happening. Tasty bunnies, hop, 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 are delicious in the pot. Simmered, boiled, or as a stew, watch out, here we come for you. Looking out the window, Ralph saw three large, savage foxes. Now everyone was in bad, bad trouble. Uh-oh. <gasps> Let's see what happens. <clears throat> Uh-oh. 
Down the stairs, there was a great trembling and crying. The rabbits locked the windows and bolted the doors. They all went down into the cellar, which was the safest place in all the commotion. Everyone forgot about Ralph. Uh-oh. Ralph had to think fast. He picked up the big baskets of eggs and threw them out the window. Oh, look what happened to the foxes. When the attacking foxes came running, they slipped and they slid and they skidded and toppled and crashed into each other in the gooey mess of broken eggs. The foxes were not ready for this. Badly bruised and covered with slimy eggshells, they got up and saw Ralph laughing in the attic window and they whispered among themselves and then disappeared into the bushes. Uh oh, I wonder what's going to happen. Soon the three foxes returned with a long ladder and they started to climb up to the attic window. But out Ralph was prepared. He lined up all the pails of Easter egg dye and one by one he dumped them over the foxes. First yellow, then blue, then finally, then violet, then finally a big pail of bright red dye. This was too much for the foxes. Grumbling, they slunk back into the bushes. Victor! Victory, cried Ralph as he kicked his soccer ball across the room. But in the next moment, Ralph heard and felt a heavy thump. Everything in the room started shaking. Now what was happening? The foxes were back and they were still trying to get in. Thump, thump, thump. We're coming through to have a bunny barbecue. Ralph knew that they needed some help. So he thought of Brutus, the bull inside the barn. But the barn was so far away. He thought... Um, there was just one chance, he thought. Ralph placed the soccer ball on the windowsill. And, oh, I'm sorry. Ralph placed the soccer ball on the windowsill. He would be the most important kick he ever made. Ralph gave it all he had. And the ball arced and soared and disappeared into the open window of the barn. Ha ha, you missed us, laughed the foxes and gave the door a big thump. Inside the barn, the animals were enjoying their afternoon snooze. When, they, when the ball sailed through the window, it bounced off the rooster's tail. Um, yike a doodle doo he cried, and then it headed for the hen. Squawk, cried the hen, and accidentally laid an egg, which hit the pig. The little piglets squealed with laughter. They giggled so hard that they knocked over the can of milk that splashed all over the billy goat. Shaking and trying to kick himself dry, the goat woke up the sheep and the sheep scared, and it scared the sheep so much that they fell against the ladder, which toppled over and knocked down the bales of hay, which fell on no one but Brutus the bull. Uh-oh. Brutus the bull burst. Br Brutus the bull. Brutus had a terrible temper and he didn't like to have his nap interrupted. He broke through the pen and crashed out the barn door and he was so mad that nothing could have stopped him. There was only one thing Brutus, Brutus hated more than being disturbed when he was napping. The color red. And that was precisely why he was precisely what he saw when he stormed out of the yard. <gasps> oh no, look, the foxes were dyed red from the Easter egg dye. Let's see what happens. Three fire engine red foxes. Brutus galloped after them and made them howl. Ooh! And they ran for their lives. Ralph knew that now the foxes were gone for good. Atta boy, Brutus, he called from the window. We did it. 
The danger was over. The rabbits climbed out of the cellar. When they found out what Ralph had done, they gave him a big cheer. When the happy rabbits celebrated not only Le Lisa's birthday, but also their good fortune. Lisa told everyone, Ralph must be the greatest soccer player in the world. Nobody else could have made a kick like that. After everyone had a piece of birthday cake, they all played a great game of soccer. And in Vietnamese, which is another language from the country of Vietnam, this says, the end. Who's ready for another special story? This is a counting book, 123 Vietnam, by Elka Ray. Elka Ray is the author. They, he or she wrote the words. One, one water buffalo as hairy as can be. One. Two, two girls in a do in a do in a dobby. They look so pretty. One, two, two. Three gold teeth. One, two. Three, three. Four water puppets. Oh, that is such fun. One, two, three, four, four. Five lion dancing, dancers jumping in the air. Five. One, two, three, four, five. This is a big costume that they're wearing and they make this lion dance. One, two, three, four, five people are inside of it. Six Quan Ho singers at a village fair. Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six. Seven coconut palms growing straight and tall. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Eight dragon fruits. Yum, I want to eat all of them. One. Hold on, sorry guys, this book is made of cardboard. It's a different type of material than ours. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight. Eight dragon fruits. Nine. Nine basket boats row across the bay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Ten. Ten communal hats. You counted to ten. Hooray. Okay, book, you can do it. Stay open. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Very good. All right, I'm going to try a different camera placement so we can look at The Little Mermaid. And this version of The Little Mermaid from Vietnam is a little different than the one you might have seen by Walt Disney from here in the United States. So in two seconds, I'll be back and we'll take a look. <laughs> 